Hi, my name is Because Becca, and I'm making this video because viewers like you have been recommending for the last two years that I check out a series called Tribe 12. Most of these comments came on my videos about Marble Hornets, so I'm assuming it's a similar type of series to that. And a quick note on recommendations. I always welcome them for now until I say that I don't, <laughs> but right now I welcome recommendations. However, I can never guarantee that I will get to all of them. But on this video that you're watching right now, you can comment a recommendation. And if your comment gets the most likes, I am going to react to whatever that is. So it could be the top liked comment is telling me to continue this series because right now I'm just checking it out. Or it could be something completely different. So now we're gonna check out Tribe 12. Now, when I was looking at this, I was like, oh dang, the complete compil compilation is nine hours long oh gosh i thought this was a much shorter series <laughs> i'm just checking it out for now there's no guarantee that i'm going to do the entire series but if people really want me to maybe we'll get there um <laughs> it's funny is is i was just here and then i saw it says part one and there's a whole other like seven hour video after this so i have no idea if we're going to get to any of like the meat of this series but for now we're gonna start just a little bit of it so here we go i don't know anything about this um i'm assuming because of the marble hornets that it's a similar found footage kind of thing on may 18th 2010 florida hey florida college student noah maxwell made a youtube and twitter account for a school assignment about the 12 tribes of israel oh okay the 12 tribes okay the assignment was later canceled and the accounts would later be used to document the strange and tragic events that soon befell Noah. Okay, is it a little bit of symbolism that he's called Noah? <laughs> like they've already got the, you know, the 12 tribes of Israel, a lot of biblical themes in this potentially. 2010, and it's a similar deal with a college student, so it's similar to Marble Hornet so far. What came first, Marble Hornets or Tribe 12? 12, 12 Tribe. What's it called? This is a compilation of the events. Okay. My Twitter account has been officially created. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Started working on my final project for Mrs. Thomas' class on the 12 tribes, of Israel, 12 tribes of Israel. I'm new to this tweeting thing, so bear with me. I can't believe it. I'm really confident about this video report. I have a feeling that I might get it. Hey, let me read an A plus for once. Mrs. Thomas just canceled the project. I was almost done and actually tried so hard for once. I even made a YouTube account for it. Oh, well. I just learned that my cousin Milo has died and no one knows how or why yet. I'm in shock. We were such good friends. I feel terrible. Okay. I'm uploading a memorial video to my YouTube channel and we'll be posting video of Milo from 2008 in the coming days. Rest in peace, Milo. Introduction in memory of Milo Asher, 1988 to 2010. So they were 22. Is that right? 22, 2 to the 90, and then 20, yeah, 22. The channel's original purpose was to showcase my Judaic studies video project focusing on the 12 tribes of Israel. The project was unexpectedly canceled by my teacher. It was never finished. Okay, we've been told this three times so far. Instead of making a new account for the following records I intend to post, I decided to use this one instead. Ooh, that's pretty. My cousin Milo Asher and I were close friends since we were very young. We always visited each other frequently, despite being in different states. <laughs> Although highly intelligent and socially normal, Milo was troubled. Just, they speak very interestingly. He frequently visited many psychiatrists because of personal issues. He never wanted to discuss them with me. Okay. In May of 2008, he visited me from, an out, of, from out of state for the weekend. Well, I mean, you've told us that he lives in a different state, so he's visited you from out of state. Yep. Having just bought my new video camera, I decided to film us. I 
After that, Milo returned home and lost contact with me. This was the last time I saw or heard from him. Oh gosh, is there gonna is this gonna go from like the really quiet to the loud, just like Marble Hornets did? I hope not. Those sounds were like the worst jump scares. He didn't contact me for over two years. Because we were such close friends, it was unusual for him not to call me. He always used to call a few times, what? Every month. <laughs> I really should have called and kept in touch with him. But for whatever reason, neither of us called one another. Last week, May 28th, I received a phone call from Milo's mother. It was the first call I had gotten from his residence since May of 2008. I was in eighth grade. Milo was found dead in his bedroom. He had overdosed on his medication. The trees. In honor of his memory, I've decided to post film of Milo and I taken when we were last together on this channel in memoriam. Well, we're three minutes into a 17 hour series, so it must be one long film. After searching high and low, I found the tape buried deep. Hey, would you stop? I gotta read. <laughs> Gosh, the same problems in the, con confi in the confines of my garage. After searching high and low. The way they speak is very um, English student. The following archive footage was taken in May of 2008. We said this like three times. They keep giving me the same facts. Okay, this is just me nitpicking on the series. If you love the series, I'm sorry. But they keep telling me just the same thing over and over again. It's the only recorded video of Milo that I have. Wait, now they said 1990 to 2010. It said 1988 to 2010 before. Did they change the dates? Hi, Milo. Long black screen. For a reason? For a reason. Submission one. Okay. It's like basically Marble Hornets in that sense that like they're doing the little submission things. Um, I just can't help but wonder if this was maybe like a spinoff. Milo was acting kind of weird. Description. <sighs> Submission one. It's got to be the way the compilation is set up, right? Saturday, day one. This was the first foot footage that, of Milo that I filmed. Here Milo arrives at my house from the airport. Oh, okay, so it's like multiple videos? Feet. Mirror. Face. Hello. Picture on the bottom of the door. Oh gosh, it's the quick moving and there, but there's like little things in the corners again. <sighs> gosh. The worst part is, is I don't even know what the setup is yet, you know? Hey, well, what's up? How's it going? Good. How's it going? <laughs> Pretty good, man. Pretty good, man. Sorry. Hey, well. That's cool. So how's Alabama? Wait, wait, wait. wait. Oh. What's with the camera? He looks like Shaggy. Oh, I just bought this camera a few days ago. I felt like testing it out. Okay. Uh, <laughs> this is like the beginning of, um, what do you call it? All right, man? 
Um, hang on, we need subtitles also. Um, with the with the with the people and the ghosts and the house. Oh, it's really pretty outside right now. And the uh, what is it called? With and she's there. Final no, no, F upper, uh, operation final places. Um, oh, what is it called? Okay, I'm gonna think about it. I'm gonna call him Shaggy. Floor, uh, floor is fine. It's been pretty hot. Had nothing to do lately. Just uh, people been. I don't know. Oh man! Oh man! I remember that. Uh, See that? Okay. Is there something we missed? How's Florida doing? When it gets really loud. Uh, floor is fine. It's been pretty hot. Had nothing to do lately. Just uh, people been. It gets fuzzy. I don't know. Okay, no, I didn't see anything. Oh man, oh man, I remember that. See that? Oh, yeah. That's where we used to have uh, the bonfire like two summers ago. Yeah, Tyler was a dick. Remember him? He used to like chase you. Paranormal activity. That's what I was trying to think of. Around the seawall. Wait, is that a uh, is that a Marble yeah. Hornets reference? Was a dick. Him? He used to like, isn't that like, isn't that the Marble Hornets? Oh, is this a Slender Man spinoff? Like, a couple other people decided to take what Marble Hornets did and be like, oh, here's like also what Slender Man was doing over here with us, kind of thing. Chase you around the seawall, and you almost fell in the canal one time. Yeah, I hated that guy. <laughs> Man, what's with that cough? Ah, it's not Man, what's with that cough? <laughs> Sorry, just you know, I have to call out the filmmaking, the act, the filmmaking, and the acting. I know that this is just two young guys like starting a weird project deciding to make this thing you know like i know this is not a production thing but i still it's i can't i just i gotta give you my my genuine reaction <laughs> you need a cough drop or something oh good you've always had that cough hang on i want to listen to it again they're giving us a lot of exposition i hated that guy <laughs> i hated that guy man what's with that <laughs> 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 What's with that cough, man? You always had that cough. Your sisters and your brother, Timothy, that you love so much and hated and murdered them. You exposition, exposition, exposition. A cough. Ah, uh, it's nothing. You need a cough drop or something? Ah, oh, good. You've always had that cough. I'm used to it. Where's that one been anyway? <laughs> I, I hear you moved to the air... I'm used to it. Arizona. <laughs> His parents were out on leave or something. If you adore this series and you're mad at me for making fun of it, I am sorry. I, I would like to say that I will fall in love with it too, but I don't know yet. Let's see. I do get tired of the shaky cam. Whoa! Hang on. Oh. It's just like shadow of his got leg. Me this tripod after I bought my camera. It's really nifty. I can just uh, stick my camera in here like this. And it clicks in place. Look at that TV. I can swivel it around if I want. Zoom in, zoom out. I can just move it around like this, and there you are. See now I'm like, I'm okay, what am I missing? I can just okay. No. Move it around like this, and there you are. I can't pause through all of this. This is going to be like the longest reaction ever. Sure, you uh, want to go to Victor Park today? Yeah, I'm pretty sure. I mean, it's not gonna rain or anything. I'll check the weather channel real quick. I'm sure, there's nothing to be worried about or anything. Uh, my TV's not working. It's static. Uh, TV weird. no work. It usually works fine. I'm gonna ask my dad about TV that. off. The reflection. It was, I have to say, it was pretty cool to have um, the little marble hornet symbol there in the concrete. I don't like this. 
My chest is starting to tense. Submission 2, June 8th, 2010. Description, Milo was behaving more paranoid than usual. Submission to CES. He is, here is more footage of Milo's visit from Saturday, day one. After spending some time at home, we drove to the boardwalk at Victor Park, a local recreational area near my house. <laughs> it's like, sorry, it's just like it's like written by like a new screenwriter, you know? We went to a boardwalk at Victor Park, you know, those recreational areas near my house. That's what I say when I go to the park. I like to call them recreational areas. You guys going to the park? Nope recreational areas sorry i'm being really annoying i'm sorry <laughs> i'm annoying myself actually <laughs> so what are you doing now, dad? <laughs> hey, my dad built a barn in the backyard that's awesome not yeah it was quite oh, i thought that thing on his windshield was like a like a i don't know like something flying barn. i don't know yeah. but i did get to shoot him with a nail gun i'm looking yeah he started melting off oh mouthing off not melting off what have you been doing around here I just drive around Ghost? Monster? I walk in that boardwalk. Wanna go there? Yeah, sure. Awesome. How far is it? Uh, it's about a quarter mile. I don't think you've seen it yet. They just built it last year. A quarter yeah. mile. Yeah. Sounds pretty interesting. Alright, wanna go? Let's do it. Sweet. Sweet. Sweet, bruh. We're being followed being followed oh I like I that's a place I like I like it hey this place has gone creepy yeah sometimes when I'm out here I hear noises out in the forest but it's just I was thinking it looked pretty there's a beer bottle right now see it <laughs> yeah. over there oh yeah here it is that. it's this actually really nice always so peaceful yeah remember when we came back here in 03 they didn't have, like, any of this built yet. Oh, three. You know, back That'd in the true. days. That'd be true. I remember this. I haven't been up here in ages. And I love the view from up here. Yeah. It's definitely something. And you can see the whole mangrove forest. It goes on for miles. That's actually really cool. And look at all the stuff people have carved in. Uh, Ma. My bad. Where's the... Oh, look behind, behind you. you. Oh, <gasps> it's, it's the symbol. Man. Oh, and there's a bunch of it. Someone really carved into this. Someone really carved into this place. Like, that's a real... Like, take away the story of the filming. Like, let's take away the facade for a second. That is a real park that some city's park, is parks and rec had to put up. And yeah, it looks like it already had a bunch of carvings all over it, but someone had to either, someone was a huge fan of Marble Hornets and already put the little like thing up there just to like mess with people, which would actually be a really cool find. But I somehow imagine that the people who made this probably, probably did that. Who has the patience to carve this stuff? That's a lot of them too. Into this like fire resistant wood. Fire resistant wood. Why? Again, he speaks so interestingly. <laughs> like, he could have just gone, who has the time to carve into this? Instead, he goes, who has the time to carve into this fire-resistant wood? <laughs> uh, okay. Where are you going? Where are you going? Hey, hey, wait up! Whoa. Where the hell are you going, man? Hurry up! <sighs> that story ended... That's how the story ended in our head. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, we always made up stories. Oh, good times, man. Good times. Yeah, you should come over more often, man. I tried to, but this job keeps messing up my schedule. It's really dull around here. So here's the end of the boardwalk. Huh. It seems a lot longer when you tell me about it. Mm. Yeah, but there's since actually people. It, not much has happened. Like, are those really people just literally just here. fishing? 
I've taken a few walks up and down this. And they're filming? And, uh, yeah. It's just been really boring. I mean, I guess you could get away with it because it doesn't seem like... Nope. You're, like, staring at them. That would creep me out. Yeah. Probably, I mean... Just about right now. All people do around here is just come and fish. Some high-quality production. They got a boat and everything. Yeah, catch and release. Unless you're gonna eat it, you know? There's no point in wasting your time. Yeah. It's kinda weird if you were the fish, so you know? Loud. Just being taken up out of your natural habitat. Alright, hang on. I'm gonna turn it down on the recording. Just cause it gets really loud. What happened to my captions? There weren't even any captions. So, Milo, what do you part. want to do next? I think we should go home. Why? We have a few hours of light. I mean, it's only six. It's getting dark, man. You okay, man? We gotta go now. What the heck, man? <laughs> Dude, don't go running off on me like that. Damn it! Ah. There's something there, right there. Hmm. After viewing the tape up to this point, I realized that I haven't watched any of the footage since filming it back in 2008. Although I bought the camera just a few days earlier, there are heavy audio-visual defects and various distortion at several points in the tape. Yeah. I also forgot how odd Milo was acting that weekend. He was definitely behaving more paranoid than usual. You, it's kind of mean. Submission so three. Description. This footage of Milo is getting more and more disturbing. Submission so three. There's footage on this tape that I did not film. Right before the footage of day two, there is something else on this on the tape. You know, I just realized it probably says submission three and then submission three again because I think the person who made this compilation also added in all the like written titles of each video. So I think that's why we're getting it like twice potentially. Wait, what did that just say? Did I read that? Oh yeah, there's something else on the tape. Milo seemed to have turned on the camera and recorded some video late at night. No, I don't like this. Hi. Oh, gosh. The headaches I get from the tension of watching this kind of stuff. Can you stop swinging around your camera? Ugh. Gosh. Gonna get motion sick, if not jump scared. Why does it get so loud? <coughs> stop, you're making me sick. Would you stop? Ugh, <laughs> wolf. <laughs> Dude, ugh.
Did I miss something there? looking at wait what was that oh dizzying footage Can't tell. Oh. wait what was there did we see anything at what am I looking at what am I looking at <sighs> what whoa there it was there he was there he was I mean I don't know if that's supposed to be oh oh that's um what's his face sleeping That's like, I don't know, the kitchen. Ah, da! Okay, go back, 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 back. Right there. Ha, ha! Okay. It's Slender Man. It's a Slender Man thing. Because there's the no face, and there's his little tie, and there's his little suit. Because, you know, he has to dress nice if he's going to be possessing people. That's cool, though. Wonder how many effects they had to put on that video. I mean, on that photo to make it that distorted looking like they just pop into like whatever program the distortion lasts for several more minutes before the sunday footage begins milo must have gotten up to take his medication i don't know why he took my camera with him the footage worries me this footage worries me his paranoia was worse than I thought. This severe distortion is also very strange. I don't know what he was running from, but whatever it was, it really terrified him. I didn't sleep last night. I'm still thinking over the footage I posted in submission three. Oh, oh, oh. So I'm guessing that these Twitter posts weren't actually part of the original like video series, but were like being posted while the series was going on. I miss that kind of thing. Yeah. Submission four. I should have kept in touch with Milo. Oh, that's the description of the video. Like, okay. No, okay, listen. Like, in the YouTube being the person who made this compilation did the titles and then the description and then starts the clip. And is also in like interplacing the Twitter stuff. We went back to Victor Park. Don't you mean your recreational area? This time we walked along the park's nature trail. I'll stop. <laughs> the playground. Huh. They built it after some kid died. I guess I think the mom petitioned for it and they got it built. What? I know. Huh? Is that the tower you've been telling me about? Oh, yeah. There's that tower. There. Look out of the sights and stuff. It's a neat hmm. place. You want to go there? Sure. All right. It's back this way. The audio from the next part of the footage was highly distorted. It finally corrected itself after about five minutes. Look in the trees, in the trees. 
An open field that's framed with trees. I don't know if you want to pick What the heck? Pick a they spot? close it off? Shoot the breeze. Like I buddies do. I don't know. Tower temporarily closed. Temporarily closed. Quoting songs by our favorite bands. Aww. They're like buddies. They're like buddies. End of May or early June. Sorry. <laughs> Do you know what I'm quoting? End of May or early June. This picture perfect afternoon we'd share. You know? End of May or early June. Yeah, no, it goes like that. End of May or early June. This picture perfect afternoon we'd share. What's our main character's name? Something and Milo. I'm on a country road, and then we're there. An open field that's framed with trees. We pick a spot and shoot the breeze like buddies do. <laughs> it's from Dear Evan Hansen. I just realized they are like, If they're really in Florida, you, oh, there's the symbol again. Ooh, pan over it. If they're really in Florida, you know why no one is at these parks while they're filming. It's because we don't enjoy parks in Florida. They're mosquito-infested wastelands that are just awful to be in. <laughs> just like, anyway, sorry. It's always, the only time it's good to go is like January. Because that's the only time it's like cold. And otherwise, it's hot outside. I've lived here my whole life. Anyway. Yeah. Nothing. There's an orange thing on the bench. Did he leave something? I don't know how much my head. Very inconsistent subtitles. Hold on a second. Oh. There we go. Oh, that's my dad. Uh, Milo, can you open the camera? Yeah. Fine. Was there something there? Fine. <laughs> I'm not gonna do this all the time. That's no, just trees. That's the thing is, he looks like a tree. No, I told you, I'm not gonna call <gasps> Found him! Look at him! How'd they do that? How'd they shoot that? Just talk and take in the view. After I caught up with Milo, <laughs> singing this song, he said he wanted to leave immediately and head home. I would like to leave immediately and head home. I had never seen him so afraid before. But then, I didn't think anything of the way Milo was acting. Back then, I didn't think anything of the way Milo was acting. But now, as I view this footage, I feel really bad that I didn't keep in contact with him. I have a massive headache tonight. I'll continue viewing the tape tomorrow. To my memory, there isn't much footage of Milo's visit left. I slept in, but I'm feeling much better. 12 likes. This tape is almost finished. Submission 5. This footage was taken Sunday evening after we left Victor Park. My love. Yeah. Can I ask you a question? Sure. What's with the running? Why do you keep running away? And it's really freaking me out. Are you okay? What are you talking about? <laughs> what are you talking about? <laughs> I'm talking about when, I, when I was filming, you just totally started running with a bunch of shots, and I'm confused. I, why are you doing that? It's personal. Don't worry about it. Bardal. Are you sure, man? Mm, don't worry about it. It's just really freaking me out right now. And I want to know if, if everything. Don't worry okay. about it. I got some stuff going on that I need to take care of. I don't want to talk about it. All right. 
I'm just worried about you, man. That's all. Trying to reach my marathon goal. It's my stuff. It's personal. Don't be. You're fine. <laughs> what are you doing? It. Stuff, Never mind. <laughs> what is that like? A journal or something? Diary? Don't ever call it dude's journal, his diary. I don't know. I mean, you're just like scribbling in that thing. I've had this thing for years. It's a force of habit. Guessing Milo has a camera. Oh, what are you doing? Oh. What are you doing with my camera? Oh, I'm just checking out the features and stuff. It's pretty cool. From what it looks like on the next bit of the tape, Milo went outside with my camera. From what it looks like? I'd say that looks like outside, yeah. house this is like my my dad most of our home videos is him just filming the outside of our house <laughs> i think and he literally just films himself going around like tapping on stuff <gasps> was it the ac oh my gosh <laughs> is that the ac my ac has jump scared me so many times <laughs> Like I'll be standing outside. I think I have a video of Nikki getting jump scared by an AC. Is he going to be standing under the street light? Oh my gosh. I got him going back. He was right there. Ooh, that's the closest we've had him. That's exciting. Duh. I don't like the sound jump scares. Whoa. I have no idea why Milo would be filming outside at that hour. This is pretty disturbing. I don't know what to make of it at this point. This footage on this tape is almost finished. Submission six. This is the last footage on the tape. There has to be something more to this footage. Submission six. Monday, day three. Milo leaves my house on this day. This is the last bit of footage that was recorded on the tape. There are many highly distorted shots in this area, some of which I don't remember filming. Whoa. Or because she hated me. <laughs> wow. Yeah, I hate her so much. How does she ever get her license? I don't know. The DMV totally overlooked it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Dude, the DMV I'm totally sorry. overlooked yeah, it. Totally angry, and, uh, I really accidentally left the camera on. Oh, so, uh, bummer. I'm going to go out to the market. They just built one down the street. Oh, since really? You, since you were last year, they built it. Wow. So, uh, yeah, I'll be out for like... Oh, really? Yeah. <laughs> like he was posing for his MySpace profile pic. <laughs> Hang on.
Just so loud. Oh, I have no idea when this next part was recorded. Noisy. Ah! That was spooky. Woo, we're spinning! Whee! Ah! <laughs> Trees. Ah! What was that? <laughs> There's silence for the next 18 minutes. Play it. I hope you have everything. <laughs> I hope you have everything. Huh. Yeah, I don't want to have to send anything back, like last year, to yeah. Alabama. Yeah, that would be good. Well, uh, okay. I'll see you later. Have a good trip. Alright. Yeah, cool. make sure to call me. Wait a minute. All right, Is he wearing the ya. same shirt he wore when he first came? Okay, I'll see. I think that's the exact same shirt he wore when he first... Did they just film that part back to back? Alright, let's film you coming in with the suitcase, and we'll film you leaving with the suitcase, because we only have the suitcase today, so... See you later. Have a good trip. <laughs> Alright. Yeah, cool. make sure to call me. Wait a minute. Alright, see ya. Oh crap, he forgot his mats. Is that him in the background? Look at him, we can see him. I love that stuff. I love it when he's just creeping. Creeping in the background like a little creep. Look at him creep. Wow, it's a long shot of him. Smile. Be really cool if he like walks past the frame and then he like disappears or something, but it looks like he's just walking away. Yeah. I don't think I've ever seen Slenderman walk. Have we ever seen Slenderman walk? The tape ends here. The rest of the tape is blank. I did not record anything else on it after Milo left. I cannot explain the extra footage that exists on this tape or the massive amount of audiovisual defects that what accompany it. Sorry. <laughs> the reoccurring distortion does not seem to be coincidental. I have been too disturbed to acknowledge it, but there are reoccurring oddities. I'm going to analyze this footage and post my findings soon. <laughs> Sorry. This is definitely more to this, and I'm going to find out what was really going on. Good. Tape analysis. June 18th, 2010. A brief analysis of, this ta of the tape. I am very confused and afraid. Tape analysis. Throughout the next tape, there are unexplainable audiovisual defects. I'm surprised he hasn't talked about the guy standing in the mirror. You know? Because the other shots I could get went by kind of quickly, and he's like, hmm, interesting, an oddity, hmm. But that other one was, like, very clearly a human, like, not a human, but a a, 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 a person-looking-ish kind of, they're wearing a suit, <laughs> standing outside the kitchen window area. And it was there for a pretty long time. I'm surprised he wasn't like, hey, did anyone else see guy in a suit <laughs> behind the plant in the hallway submission number one I have nothing to do lately just uh people been oh he's analyzing oh okay is it gonna point it out now it's kind of weird if you were to fish you know it's being Sorry. taken up out of your natural <laughs> don't leave in the jump stare jump scare jump stare the jump Scare, cough. Milo appears to freak out whenever the tape's audio and video begins to distort. There's definitely a correlation. I checked all the other tapes that I had filmed with the cam that camera. There are no such errors. The distortion in the connection to Milo is very odd. Very odd indeed. Hmm. <laughs> but that's not all. But that's not all. Wait, there's more. What really freaks me out about this tape is what I'm seeing for the first time. The dude standing out your window. There's a man that appears in the tape. That's what he's doing. <laughs> Sorry, I had too much something. It is <laughs> beyond me how I did not see him in the footage beforehand. I was just 
complaining about this. Damn it! Oh, I didn't see it that time. That's cool. Wait, he kind of looks like he's bending. He's like, we never see Slender Man in that kind of a posture. You know, he's always just standing, staring. Ooh, sorry. And uh, in 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 unknown chills. Oh, they're gonna point out to all the times that we potentially even missed. He's really tall there. He's supposed to be very tall. Oh, he was here. I don't want to talk about it. Mm, I don't want to talk about it. Oh, I missed him there. He's standing right there. That's crazy. Yes. Wait, he was here. Wait, wh where was he here? I looked for him here. Oh, he's in the closet. I kind of thought that at first, but then I thought, nah. Oh, this time he comes out the door. <laughs> I love that shot. That shot looks great. Does he change his height as he wants? Because it does seem like he gets taller and shorter. From what the footage shows, this man was around my neighborhood and inside my house. I am absolutely dumbfounded, not to mention terrified. I'm afraid to go into my closet, <laughs> let alone walk around my house. The fact that I did not see this man before when he was in plain sight on the tape really perturbs me. If there are any updates of any sort, I will post them here in the future. There must be some explanation for this because I am very nervous. Sorry, I'm, I know, but I can't stop. <laughs> and I can't stop. Going to Miami for the weekend to clear my head. What I'm finding in the footage is hard to believe. I'm seeing new things on the tape. I have not been able to sleep for several days. The fact that I have to question the validity of every time he says a minute of Milo's paranoia is making me paranoid. Wow, rude. Way to just like talk about your cousin. Cousin? Was this cousin, right? Cousin's mental health on here. I've been called upon I've been called upon to attend Milo's funeral in New York. His family has a burial plot there. I'm catching a plane tomorrow. That's sad. It is sad. I'm on board with the story. My flight was delayed due to some technical difficulties, then cancelled, taking the July third flight instead. The funeral is on the fifth. Man. Right after Independence Day. What did this have to do with the tribes of Israel? <laughs> Boarding my flight now. I'll be in New York in a few hours. Just arrived at LaGuardia. Had a good ride. It was a bit turbulent at times, so. Um, I think maybe the Tribe 12 thing, you know, 12 Tribes of Israel. It's kind of like how Marble Hornets was a student film. Oh, he was working on a school project about the tribes of the t Israel, you know. Drave shift, I brought my camera. Went to the funeral and then saw my grandfather, Carl. He's a very... He ha <laughs> Can't read. Had a very odd day. A video will be posted soon. I need to get back home. 13 likes. I'm flying back to Florida Friday evening. New video will be posted during the weekend. Sorry about the typo in the last tweet. I was tired. I didn't even notice, did I? Milo's funeral. I hope he's at peace now. That's pretty sad. Milo's funeral. I was called upon, called upon to attend my, wait, I was called upon? I was called upon to, 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 I know I already made fun of it once, but now I'm just, my brain's just wrapping around it. I was called upon to attend Milo's funeral. You mean like you were invited? He was to be laid to rest in New York. Serious. The Asher family has a burial plot in a cemetery there. I took a plane to New York and from there, a train to the cemetery. It's too much information. Dude really filmed his like, wherever he went on a trip. Almost time to go. 
you like this, it's okay in the pouch underneath your seat if necessary. Remove it. Sorry, I have to comment on one thing, which is for most reasonable people, it's incredibly uncomfortable to film yourself in public. I have obviously done like stuff in public and it, it still gets, it still is weird sometimes. And I just love how quickly he like put this over his face, like just to be like, it is me, by the way, this isn't stock footage. I really filmed this myself. It's a very high budget production. He had a boat. Now he's on a plane. Almost time to go. He's like, it's me. Almost time to go. Okay. <laughs> you like this? It's okay in the pouch underneath your seat. If necessary, remove it from the pouch and pull it over your head. That girl, that flight attendant probably had no idea she'd forever be, you know, linked to this series. Yeah, it's gonna be off. It's gonna be off? Really? Really? It's gonna be off, really? <laughs> I learned that Milo had already been cremated and buried for a while now. His family decided to hold the official funeral on July 5th. Okay. Although it seemed like an obvious suicide, his mother had private investigators come and search his room. They found cash caches of various pills hidden in his closet you had private investigators search his room you couldn't just as a mom find like search his closet okay. they also held off the funeral to perform a tox toxicology report the investigators ruled milo's death a suicide yeah Please check to make sure that your seatbelts are securely fastened, tables and seat backs are up and locked. All electronic devices, please turn off at this time. Ah. He appeared to have overdosed on a heavy mix of his sleeping pills and depression anxiety medication. Seat backs are up and locked. All electronic devices, please turn off at this time. Watch the gap. Careful. It would have been so cool if Slender Man was in the trees. I know that they did not have the ability to do that because he's just literally on a real train, but it would have been cool. Okay, this makes me feel a little weird. This is Milo's grave site where his funeral was held. I wasn't allowed to film the ceremony and I didn't anyway out of respect for Milo and his family. Okay, this is like, this is a real cemetery. Like this is a real person's new grave right there at that time. And I know he just took the opportunity to film for the series, but something about that makes me feel really weird, you know? I don't know, to like use someone else's grave for like your story. Anyway. Milo's mother didn't seem to want to talk to me at all. She was avoiding me as much as she could. When I asked her about the videos on this account, she said that she hadn't seen them and didn't want to. She didn't want to be filmed. New video will be up tomorrow if my internet connection holds out. It involves, bleh, it involves my grandfather. I'm having a friend translate what he said. My grandfather, Carl. 
description. I have more questions than answers. Please excuse the typo at 638 and the arrows at point zero five. Carl is my grandfather on my mother's side, not my father's. My grandfather, Carl. Carl Maxwell, my grandfather on my mother's side, father's side, mother's side, was born in Germany. He immigrated to New York around the time that I was born. Because he barely speaks English, and I was told because he was senile, he... Bleh, he rarely saw or even contacted, we rarely saw or even contacted one another. Before I left for New York, he sent me an email in German saying that he had seen the videos that I had posted and wished to speak with me. The only reason he had my email was because my dad once asked me to send him some of my high school graduation pictures. The address he gave me was a few miles north of the cemetery, so I decided to visit him after leaving Milo's gravesite. He might be my favorite character. He sat me down at his kitchen table and left for a few minutes. When he returned, he began speaking to me in German. Because I don't understand any German, I had my friend come over and translate what he said. <laughs> okay. Ich bin in Deutschland geboren. I was born in Germany. When I was a child, I lived near a place. This is near the Black Forest. My grandmother would always tell me stories of the Grobmann, the great tall man. He was said to have lived in the forest and hunted children. Bad children who ran away from home into the woods would be chased by him. The tall man would not stop until he captured the child. Back in 1944, near the end of the war, I was part of the OSS, the Secret Intelligence for the Allies. He was a German soldier. The missions we went on were top secret. Many are still unknown. Man, the Slender Man lore goes deep. One of the last operations we did was an espionage mission to the Black Forest in Germany. That's not far from where I grew up. We were disguised as civilians and meet up with a group that would give up stolen Nazi blueprints. I traveled with three others into the forest. We set up a camp in a clearing. An open field that's framed with trees. <laughs> One night, a Nazi soldier came to our camp. He was stumbling and disoriented. He was shouting, he's coming, he's coming. Then he collapsed. We thought he was drunk at first, but then... We saw that his arm and legs, his arm and leg, leg were broken. Then we heard strange noises coming from the forest. We drew our guns. This is when we saw him. He was pale and thin. He wore a black suit and he came towards us. We had no idea why there would be a man in a black suit in the forest. I yelled at him in German, French, Russian, but this strange man did not answer. He came closer until I saw his face, but there was no face. The Nazi soldier was crying and talking to himself. 
Then we saw the arms he had many like an octopus. We shot at the man. He did not fall. He did not die. He used one of its arms to grab the Nazi soldier and drag him into the air. Oh, that'd be like so cool. Sorry, but that would be so cool. The poor guy was screaming so loud. The next thing we saw, he and the Nazi soldier were gone. It was very quiet, and we were very afraid. I've never in my life felt so afraid. We could not find any trace of them. I see this man in your films. He is watching your friend. I'm very worried for you. Do not search for this man. If you go looking for him, you will only find trouble. You have brought bad energy into this house. I feel it. You must leave immediately. Goodbye and again, be careful. May God help you. Peace, you must leave right away. Oh, please, you must leave right away. Please, you have to leave immediately. Go, now, get out. Get out. Don't take the camera. Don't the camera. Turn off that camera. It's not safe. Hope he doesn't get his grandfather killed. Gute Nacht. <laughs> Come on, let me back in. <laughs> let me back in. I'm your grandson. Hello. Come on, let me back in. Shit. Ah. Oh. Carl didn't let me back in. Carl. <laughs> After waiting about 10 minutes for him to come back, I left the house. He was acting demented, throwing me out so suddenly like that. After translating what Carl had said, I became even more terrified of the 2008 footage. That man in the suit is similar, if not identical, to the description of the man in his story. I have no idea how Carl found out about the videos. I don't even think my parents even know about this channel yet. They would have asked me about it already. Also, I don't know how he knew I was going to be in New York. I got, I got his email the day before I left. So he must have known that I was coming beforehand. My parents said that they didn't tell him that I was coming either. I don't know what to do about all of this now. I'm still afraid and have few answers. If any new information arises, I will update my Twitter or post a new video. I can't walk around my house at night. It's nerve wracking. I literally have not had a comfortable night of sleep in weeks. I think about the tape every night. That guy in the suit, insomnia. 14 likes, he's getting up there. I didn't sleep at all tonight. I kept hearing noises around the house. I don't think it's the house settling. These sounded different. These noises are scaring me. I'm filming tonight so I can try and catch what I'm hearing on the tape, posting my findings soon. Last night's footage was disappointing. None of the sounds in question were picked up, but I definitely heard them. I'll try again tonight. The camera finally picked up some audio during the night. Also found something outside. Video will be posted uh, within the week, God willing. Okay. I don't feel safe in my own home anymore. Night recording. strange noises coming from around my house. Uh, they're unexplainable. I don't know where they're coming from. Uh, it's not the house settling or creaking or anything. It's I like his little holder for his headphones. 
doesn't sound normal to me. And uh, frankly, it's all just been scaring the living shit out of me. It's got a home so, uh, phone. I decided to record myself sleeping in uh, hopes of catching whatever these sounds are. Some ramen tape. noodles. And uh, I don't have a tape recorder, so this is all I'm going to record on. Um, I tried this yesterday. It didn't work. I didn't catch anything. But uh, hopefully I'll get something on tape tonight. Just to have some evidence of... So, uh, yeah, here it goes. Is Slender Man going to come visit him? Twelve, 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 twelve. Oh, did he really film himself sleeping? That's kind of cool. Well, it's only been about 20 minutes. But it's still cool to get that, like, kind of time lapse on it. Rather than it just jumping to a new time. That's really cool. Ooh, 1.30. Isn't it always 3 a.m., 2 a.m. or 3 a.m. that things go wrong? Like on those 3 a.m. videos or whatever? I don't like that. Whatever that was. Sounds like someone's trying to do, like, ASMR. <laughs> What's that? What am I looking at? see it again that was actually really cool hang on look at that wow okay Three thirty-three. Three three three. Three threes. He's got the cough. He's got the cough. Uh-oh. Oh, 
little nervous. Answer me. Show yourself, goddammit. Ah, don't say that. <laughs> Show yourself. <laughs> you had to unlock it. What the hell's going on out here? I watch through my fingers. Fingers are safe, day safe. Safe. If my hand is in front of my face, it's safe. for comfort. A package. A gift for you. Okay, <laughs> Applause, it says. Fucking show yourself. I know you're out here. I fucking know you're out here. Yeah! I know you're hiding somewhere. Making fucking noises in the night. Don't seek him out. Get sick and tired of this shit. <laughs> you over here? Huh? Fucking asshole. Is his AC okay, gonna scare him? I would not do this. <laughs> he just shanked the bush. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not gonna tape. lie, I'd probably do it too. <laughs> with, the knife, with the littlest knife. Dip, dip, dip. Take that. <laughs> Fuck's out there. You didn't get those bushes. Those are taller bushes. You need to make sure you. I would say that's pretty realistic to true fear, you know? Typically when people get actually scared, they start to look angry. You know? Uh, fear usually comes out in anger. That's why I get angry at Poppy Playtime. I don't feel safe in my own home anymore. What was that? What was in that package, Noah? Honestly, I've been way too afraid to open this box. It's been sitting in the corner of my room for days. I'll do it tonight. The unboxing. All right. We're going to hold it there. And we're going to do the unboxing maybe in the next episode. Thank you so much for joining me. I hope you enjoyed. And that's all because it's over. Bye. <laughs>